Watching TV has changed over time. Streaming has become the new norm. That's why Golden State Media Concepts Television Podcast dives headfirst to the world of cord cutting. Want to be on the loop of what's hot in Netflix? Or if it's not a preference, what about original shows in Hulu? We've got you covered. Join us as we fill in the blanks and talk about movies to stream and what show you should be binging. This is the Golden State Media Concepts Television Podcast. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the GSMC Television Podcast. I'm Real Ravina. I'm Shay Northrup. I'm Jordan Giles. I have to say, Ravina, I really like the whole the Real Ravina thing. It makes me think I need a DJ name. You should. What would your DJ name be? Probably the Shaster in the morning. I don't know. What do you think? I think you should be Patrick Shazy. Slim Shady. Slim Shady. Yeah. No, I'm not feeling that one. No. What about uh, Jordan could be Jungle Book Jordan? <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a <laughs> okay, on that note, <laughs> here we are talking to you guys about television yet again. We're going to talk to you guys about the new season of Bob's Burgers. We're going to talk about The Last Man on Earth. We might talk about Supernatural getting yet another season. And No end in sight, they say. Yeah, no end in sight ever. And then uh, the Bo- – is it Rob and China show? Yes, Rob and China will be – Filling you guys in in all the hot details that just happened in this last episode. Oh, great. So to kick us all off, I kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about... like So last episode, we, we, we talked about what our favorite childhood cartoon was when we were kids. Yeah. But what is your favorite cartoon as an adult? Hmm. Oh. I well. like the movie Frozen. Does that count? I suppose that's a cartoon, but I think we were aiming more for its shows. I don't cons- Not a big cartoon person. No. No Family Guy or No. American Dad Simpsons. No. Futurama. No. No. That show Futurama. Oh. The show irritates me. Simpsons, it is a little irritating. I'm just yeah. Like, Whoa. I enjoy it. I There's like that Futurama. girl with one eye, right? In yeah. Futurama, I was like. Whoa. The only thing that irritates me about that show is Bender. Bender kind of bothers me on occasion. Really. Mm-hmm. I'm really tired of him talking about his butt. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that's that's reasonable. Other than that, I like Futurama. Is that your show? No. What's your show? Oh, what's your show? I asked you Fine. first. My show that I like right now currently, I actually really enjoy the show Regular Show. Okay. Okay. It's like a show about me and my brother when we were growing up. And that's how it feels to me, like Mordecai and Rigby. It's like a couple, even though they're just friends, they feel like a couple brothers to me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it just kind of reminds you of you and your brother? Yeah. And, you know, they get into some hijinks and it's pretty formulaic, but I honestly don't mind. It's like a bad acid trip. It's pretty good. Really enjoy the show. I think it's still running. I don't. I don't think they stopped it. No, they're still going on. I think. Um, and uh, the creator of the show, um, the way it got kicked off was from a student film he made. It was a, a student short animated thing that he did where the characters were at a gas station and they were tripping, and most of the characters from the trip show up in the actual show. And I'll have to show it to you. Like it's actually really good. That's neat. No, I, I think I've heard about it. Yeah. Um, I'd say that my, my show that I like, uh, this this is a really tough one because um, th- there's a couple, but I think American Dad. Oh, uh, yeah. American Dad's pretty good. I enjoy American Dad. I like American Dad better than I like Family Guy. Yeah. I'm... I don't really like Family Guy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, listeners. I know Family Guy is one of those things that everybody just loves and adores, but... You don't like Stewie? How really could you? It's not my thing. No, I, I really well, don't. Well, you don't like Family Guy either, huh? Everybody likes Stewie, right? Yeah, I guess. I, I, I suppose. I think Brian's the worst part of the show. Like, he's funny, but he's like, ah. Okay, no, I'm mad. switching it. I'm switching it. It's Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Well, we're actually going to talk about yeah, that Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe it's a segue. I really like Bob's Burgers. All right. Why don't we talk about Bob's Burgers? Are, are, what season are they on now? It's like, what, season seven? Season seven, yeah. Yeah. I just watched the first episode that got released, and it was pretty good. Like, they're always pretty good, though. Like, Bob's Burgers is always on top of it. Question. Do they make veggie burgers? I don't know. No, probably, probably not. I, I don't think so. No? No. I don't pretty think sure so. they don't. They oh. joke about there's like they joke about like remember the cow episode? One of, yeah, one of their biggest it was a documentary. Things, yeah, one of their biggest bits is like the joking like burger titles too, right? I mean, right, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, alfalfa sprout. I, I can't do one. I can't. I don't remember any off at the top of my head, but I think the greatest thing about that show is the fact that it's Blue a show. Cheese Moon. About, yeah, Blue Cheese Moon. That, that was actually one of them. Uh, I think one of the greatest things about the show is just like it's a show about a family that's sticking together and while they work at a restaurant. Like, I, I, it's, it's, it really is refreshing compared to like your family guys oh, and yeah. everything like that. It well, they're not seem trying like they're to rip each other each apart. Other. No, they're acting like a family. And the characters are great. Like Tina. The did you know Tina was about to be a boy? They were originally they made her a boy. Really? Yeah. I kind of like that she's a girl. I, I no, I do too. I think that really the helps make the show coming of age, going through puberty. She likes to touch butts, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's like literally one of her big character things. She loves horses and butts. Horses and butts and kissing. Yeah. And then and then um, who is it? Lee, Lee, Liz Lisa. What's what's her name? What's the little the little girl? Uh, oh god now you just made me forget her name should i think we... her name is lisa no should we cut this is definitely not your thing of the simpsons no. okay uh louise louise. louise yeah louise yeah so louise is like this really demented little girl who wears cute bunny ears and loves anime things kind of like cutesy little japanese things yeah yeah and i think her her big defining personality is that she's very much into sneaking she'll be the black sheep of the family yeah right? she's very malevolent i think out of she's malevolent yeah whereas the rest of the family everyone's weird and odd in their own special way and yeah. at the same time it's very likable like, like she's not Eric Cartman from South Park. You don't like love to hate her because she's the bad guy out of them. No, she's you still, love her anyway. Yeah, there's she's a just a little crazy. She's not Bart Simpson either. Where it's like she's playing. Oh yeah, let's make him do that because that's something a bad guy would do. Right. She seems very unique, and she doesn't really seem like she goes to any personality that's on TV. And I think that's why I like Bob's Burgers, despite it being a nuclear family. They're all so unique. Yeah. They all have well, their even, special hang-ups. Even uh, the mom, Linda, right? Yeah, which is a really interesting case. <laughs> She's uh, so crazy. Like, she loves, um, uh, what was it, like, musicals, and she loves to sing, and, like, kind of got that, what is it, that, like... Jersey girl voice, so it really doesn't work for her. Yeah, and, that just singing terribly and drinking a lot of wine. Uh, and Bob is like kind of like everyday good, guy. She's though. a good embodiment of the crazy mom that you have. You know, the, the crazy in your mom or the crazy aunt. And Bob has that very caring, while at the same time not so annoying about it. You know, like yeah, he he has this balance of a good dad that you that you'll see on TV. He's kind of like your average man, to be honest. What do you think, Ravina? I've never really watched Bob's Real. Burgers, but That's just okay. from like the the um, trailer, it kind of reminded me of The Simpsons and Family Guy. But um, Shay here was telling me it's actually a lot better than The Simpsons because it's more like family oriented. It's more family oriented, but then like the scripts are like really smart. I don't know if it's more family oriented than The Simpsons, but I feel like it has more heart. Yeah. And for some, somehow, one of my favorite things about Bob's Burgers that I really love about it is that they keep making original songs in it. Oh, I mean, yeah. you have like a season of 20 episodes. In every episode, you at least have the ending credits with a song based on like the story. And that blows me away that you can keep such originality without well, it, it didn't really feeling start that way. No, it, it didn't, but it's it kind of has become a thing. Even now, though, the track record of like last season, the yeah, season before, yeah. this season. I guess presumably. I mean, the season opened up with like six different original songs. Something like that. It's yeah, weird it how crazy. they're able to make a fun, catchy tune with fun, catchy lyrics that are relevant to the story. With voice actors that really can't sing. Yeah, well, and I think that's something else to enjoy about it. That adds yeah. to the heart. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever you have um, – actually, today I was – you know, uh, what's her name? Kristen – with Kristen Shaw, she was originally in Fly of the Concords as Mel, and she played oh. the stalker. The fan, and um, there was this song that she sang in it about you know being like in a dreaming state, and I couldn't remember if it was Bob's Burgers or the uh, the song came from Flight of the Concords, mm. and it's fun that despite all of them not having the best singing voices, you still want to hear the songs, you still want to listen yeah. to the music because well, I mean, it's if they so put fun. out like if they put out like a, a best of Bob's Burgers, CD, I'd buy it. I would, yeah, I would put that on on parties or something. I, I definitely buy that. I don't know about parties, but I <laughs> like definitely on the road to like work or anything because they're they they definitely kind of pep you up whenever I brighten up your day. They really do, and it's a perfect way to end credits. Uh, what can I say? Bob's Burgers is great. 
All right. It looks like we're running out of time. When we come back from the break, we are going to talk to you guys about the last man on earth, possibly supernatural if you're lucky. And well, again, Rob and China. Yes. The Rob, Rob and, and China, China show. show. Just open up with Rob and China. Ooh. Let's get that one out of the way. All right. All right. We'll be back, guys. Want to find out what movies to go see? Then check out the GSMC Movie Podcast. It's your ticket to the latest movies, whether it's a new blockbuster event, romantic, comedy, or action flick. This show has got it all covered. They talk some what to go see now. Don't bother. What's hot on Netflix and everything in between? That's gsmcpodcast.com backslash movie dash podcast. When it's all about the movies, it has to be this new show. Don't forget to like them on Facebook and follow them on twitter visit gsmcpodcast.com for more info hello everybody and welcome back to the golden state media concepts television podcast i am the real rubina and i'm shay northrup and i'm jordan giles that's your last name thank you thank you i actually i'm a big fan of my last name cool so Now we're going to talk about this new reality show that came off, which is a spinoff of The Kardashians, which does have Kim Kardashian's brother, Rob, and um, his baby mama, Blank China. Blank China? I thought it was Black China. It is Black China. Okay. Tell me a little bit about this show. I'm, I'm, I'm not very familiar. <laughs> I watched the trailer, and from what I gathered from the trailer, it's her going crazy thinking he's talking to other girls and... Him trying to lose weight. That's all I really got from it. Yeah. So basically, Rob Kardashian became pretty absent in the Kardashians um, hit reality TV show when he had a crazy breakup with uh, the singer Rita Ora, which launched him into kind of a deeper depression and he gained a lot of weight and she cheated on him. And so he kind of blames a lot of these things on his former relationship. So since he was absent with the Kardashians, he got his own TV show with his um, now fiance. And basically, it's just starting off talking about their life and their relationship, how it started off in the midst of a lot of drama and kind of crushing rumors about, like, you know, why they got together and um, how the sisters originally did not like China because Rob's youngest sister is now dating China's ex-husband. And um, now China is going into the family, too, by being with Rob. You know, it's really funny. Uh, I was actually just looking over at Jordan, and Jordan and I both rolled our eyes when we heard that. I like I, This might be a little mean, but we kind of rolled our eyes when we heard that, oh, this poor guy, he broke up with his girlfriend, so now he's a shamble. Like, I yeah. don't know. That just seems like you're a Kardashian. You've got money. Like, find another girl. I don't know. Yeah, so now he Seems did. a little ridiculous to me. So, what do you think, Jordan? I, I just can't stand it. I, for, I, I don't know necessarily about your reasons. I mean, not disagreeing or agreeing. I just, overall, my biggest problem is all of it's so pointless and dumb. And I, well, like, is you that went fair into to say? Different... And I guess I'm biased because it's hard to, like, review, like, this reality show is really good because I'm going into it cynically. I'm... I, I feel the same way. Like, I don't know. Hearing that he fell into a depression over a breakup just, I don't know. To me, it just seems a little silly. I know I could be wrong. They could have had a really good, strong foundation, but... Yeah, this is not the best reality show, for sure, that's come out in a while. Yeah. But it is hitting a lot of um, viewers just basically from the concept between the drama between, you know... Well, yeah. Kyle, and I the mean, controversy, because Blank China is a former stripper. Oh, is she? Yeah, yeah I, I, I remember that from the entertainment days. Um, it's, it's really funny, because, like... My girlfriend, I we mentioned in a previous episode. My my girlfriends yeah. watched this a few times because her uh, mom is really into reality shows and that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. And she was telling me about how like Black China just went nuts because she was. I guess he looked she, through her phone and then she got mad and then uh-huh. she looked through his phone and now she's worried he's cheating and like was screaming at him. And- yeah, because he asked to check her phone and she was like, why do you need to check my phone? Do you not trust me? And then he was like, oh, um, she's like, do you text other females, Rob? And he goes. Yeah, or like, of course I do, or whatever. But obviously, he texts females because his sisters and his mom. It's like there's all females. Well, in and his you family. can have you can have female friends without them being a threat to you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I I feel like that that's I don't know invasion of 
privacy? I don't know. I feel but like then, she's going nuts for To me, reasons. it all just seems super petty, you know? Like, it just seems like, ah, why? What's the point of it? No, I mean, I, I agree with you, man. I guess it's just because everybody's already going through all these problems, so why do I have to see a guy that's already inherently pretty unlikable? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if I would the... say he's unlikable. I feel like of the Kardashians, I probably like him the best. But even then, like, that's the best of a bad situation, <laughs> right? Like, I suppose. What do you think? I don't know. I, no offense or anything. Like, just... No, I think that I was watching it earlier before coming in the latest episode. So um, it's one of those things that it's addicting because you obviously watched the first episode. It had so much hype. It was such a big deal um, during the premiere of this event. It got so many viewers. And then now that I was in the show, I kind of got to keep continuing on in it but i feel like the the kardashians wait were you in the show was i in the show rob and china i don't well, know if I you mean, made like you're, a, an you're appearance like a, you're in you're a big actor right so. yeah you, you've oh, done some stuff please. yeah you have a pretty good resume from what i understand yeah no 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 maybe if i was a former stripper i would be in the episode but i'm not so <laughs> i'm not in the Jeez. episode i sent some spite <laughs> Are you not a fan no. of Black China? I am. Good for her for doing everything that she's done. And in the episode, she like always talks about how she did go to college and she used um, stripping as a platform and made money off that. Now look at her; she's in a million, multi-million dollar home, and we're. We're so here. <laughs> are you saying that her only value is that she's getting hooked up with a uh, rich man? No, I'm not saying that. She has actually, she's a very smart businesswoman. She's launched um, Lash Businesses, clothing line, so much off of this. So when it comes to so business, she's using him. it could be, but when it comes to business, she knows what she's doing for sure. I guess, I guess marrying a Kardashian is a good business decision. Uh, no, it's all terrible. It's just... <laughs> just, you know. I feel like I'm everybody sorry, says that about the Kardashians, all, yeah. <laughs> but... You guys would date Kim Kardashian if she came up to you. No. For sure. Uh, I don't no. think so. For sure, you guys would. I, I know that pretty. sounds like if a popular like opinion, but no, not no, really. Pretty and if you weren't with but... your if you weren't with your significant others right now, if you were single and you met Kim Kardashian and she was interested in you and you were interested in her. Maybe like a one night stand. If I were interested in her, well then yeah, because I would no, be interested in her in this situation. I feel like you guys would get interested. You I guys would... are guys, you would get interested in Kim Kardashian. Well, no, I mean, I she's pretty. Me. She's She's pretty, but yeah. other than that, like she really there's that whole have personality a whole lot of that you would have to right. overcome. I mean, guys are more than just you know every clip sex of organs. Ki- like we're we have feelings too, Ravina. <laughs> I like people no, based I'm... on personality. <laughs> yeah, but maybe her personality is nice, and you no, get no, to know that. I think that if the, I think there's been if there's any point to the life. show, the like keeping up with the Kardashians, it's yeah. to dissuade you in any thought that. Kim Kardashian is like a good person. Yeah, I feel like I've watched enough reality shows to know where um, her personality <laughs> lies. Yeah. yeah I, well, we I don't got, know. Like, really I still think so I, I that wouldn't guys, date Kim Kardashian. Got, I think you guys would. I, I love how defensive we got. No, I just... <laughs> You're like, don't compare me to Kim Kardashian. We're going to talk about this um I mean, we're successful podcast hosts, so... Yeah, well, I... <laughs> Be great for publicity. Heck, I don't I, know. Maybe I will I take him, Kardashian. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you guys totally would. But, um, yeah, so Shay uh, actually watched a full episode of Robin it wasn't, China. It wasn't Robin China. I watched a little bit of Robin China, but um, I watched, like, almost all of, um, uh, what was it? Wags? Wags. 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 Oh, so you're a Wags guy. Yeah, we talked about it on our last episode. Yeah, that's the one that I watched. I, I And I, I said full episode, but, like... It wasn't a lot before I realized I didn't like it. Didn't you say it was like 10 minutes? It was like 10 minutes. Is it a 12-minute like, show? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like 30 minutes. Okay, with commercial watched, previews, it's only like 20 minutes. I watched 10 and and. Shay, and what I do you think most means? Like, I'm just, <laughs> just give me a button. There's no judgment here. Just give me the definition of the word most. <laughs> hey, enough for you to get the idea, right? Okay, yeah, I'll take that. And I've, I've definitely seen a little bit or enough of Robin China to get an idea where this is going. I guess it might be interesting to see 
I don't know. Like, is she going to be cra- like, is but she going to be crazy things, in all these things? One or? of the things that's happened already is a lot of this drama has already p- played out on social media. So we've already seen how it's happened, but now we're just seeing everybody's reactions on the TV to everything. But initially, like when her Chimoji came out, we seen some of that. Chimoji. Yeah, Chimoji. <laughs> and one resembled Kylie Jenner, right? So we've seen how Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians are flipped out but now we'll, we'll see her reaction china's reaction right okay. so it's just kind of playing off the two but don't you guys think that this will kind of be like a knockoff version of the kardashians because it, rob is kind of well, sometimes in the other show and in the kardashians they talk about china so you know it kind of it's like sister shows almost like sister shows i like that I like that phrase. I don't really like the idea of these. Have shows. you guys seen it's the show um, Sister Wives? No, but it sounds interesting. That's the one where it's like Mormon families, right? Polygamy. They have like, yeah, polygamous yeah. relationships. From what I understand, they don't really do a great job representing polygamous families. Really? They one of them the show... actually apparently got a divorce. I see. Really? In the magazine. What do you mean by they don't do a good enough? Are you actually a big fan of the like. I, are, are you on the inside of this? People, like, I feel like it's to each their own, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if you think that having multiple wives is okay, what, whatever. What what have you? You know, it takes a, it takes a million – it takes a bunch it, to make a world. It, it takes a village, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and I know that some people who have polygamous relationships are very successful in that, you know, and they enjoy it. And this show seems to kind of focus more on the bad than the good. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like it's very biased and very, it has an agenda. Hmm. Okay. There's, there's okay. a big evil word for you. I've got a topic uh, I kind of want to bring up and see what you guys think. Okay. Hit us. Well, and all right. This one's uh, Ravina. I think this is going to work for you too. Or real. I don't know um, how you prefer. Would you guys... All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw it out. Okay, do it. Worst reality show you've ever either seen or heard of, hmm. and why? And t- like break it down for me. I've got something. In I mind. think it I've would be the hip hop wives. Yeah. Why? Because that's oh, it's just a ratchet. I just, ratchet. I haven't seen a lot of reality shows. I that's guess, the only one way to describe it. Ratchet. I guess like maybe celebrity boot camp. I think that was pretty bad. Have you seen that? It's the one where it's Celebrity Fitness no. Club or whatever. I haven't seen that. Like, one. it's a boot camp for celebrities. It was like an old show that was on, like, in, like, 2007. I haven't seen that one. That yeah. sounds... Have you guys seen that new show that came out, When the Celebrities Go in the Wild? Yeah, Naked and Afraid. We talked about that on a previous episode. Yeah, that show. Just so, so what were you going to say, Jordan? I'm very concern can I, what are you gonna say well um i've got one that i thought and i haven't i haven't seen a full episode uh it's kind of hard to it lasted for one season back in 2010 to 11 it was bridal plasty what's that i've never it heard sounds of that. bad it's a contest show where women who are wanting to have like surgeries plastic surgeries for their wedding do competitions to win plastic surgeries bridal plasty that makes what? me want to vomit yeah, yeah they they win they can win a wedding like a paid for their wedding and on top of that plastic surgery procedures that is just like the worst kind of show like i feel like that's like exploitation all of the women in it were absolutely terrible people and i guess oh. you know you see that in a lot of reality game shows right like, yeah where they're just like wow you guys are legitimately bad all of them were bad people. They were so hateful like woman to woman. each other. They were so just, hateful to everybody. Just the idea of this show is, oh my god! I'm gonna have. We're gonna have to go to a break, and I'm going to seriously think about society. So when we get back, hopefully, I'll be in a better mood. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Tired of searching the vast jungle of podcasts? Now listen close and hear this out. There's a podcast network that covers just about everything that you've been searching. The Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network is here. Nothing less than a podcast bliss with endless hours of podcast coverage. From news, sports, music, fashion, cooking, entertainment, fantasy, football, and so much more. So stop lurking around and go straight out to the Golden State Media Concepts Podcast Network. Guaranteed to fill that podcast itch, whatever it may be. Hi. 
Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we just talked about our, our long ramble on reality TV shows. I think we did a good job. We really killed it. I but still feel gonna... sick. Like, that's just nauseating. I just, like, I know that there's no other point to bring it. It was a non sequitur. We stopped talking about it immediately after I told you the point. But that is the thing. You guys need to go home and Google bridal plasty and really just get a picture at one of the weirdest, disgusting reality shows out there. So... Without further ado, let's talk about something that actually is, you know, nice, good, some watchable. How about Last Man on Earth with Mr. Will Forte? I'm very interested in this show. Um, I've watched a couple of the trailers. Um, I haven't seen the show itself, but I can't man, believe you it, it guys haven't seen it yet. Like, when did where did it come out? Uh, it came out a, a few years ago. We're in season three right now. Right. And right. Um, when it came out, it was one of those shows where I was really excited about it. I mean, Kristen Shaw, Will Forte. Yeah. It's going to be good, right? It's got to be great. But then I thought this, this is so experimental. I thought there's no way this is going to go past season one just for the fact that what are you going to do with like two people what you, with, with no one else around you? How far can you go with that concept? But – they can really go with that concept. They've went well, for three seasons now, and honestly, it's been watchable throughout. It's been fun. How many? I mean, just to kind of a sidebar. How many Last Man on Earth movies have there been? There's been a bunch. There's the movies, Last Man on though. Earth. There's well, I mean, they've just done it so many times. It's one of those things where it's not a bad thing that this exists, but I feel like there's enough you can do with it. Just taking from older things. I don't like, think they really take away from cliches, though. Now, it's not technically the last man on Earth. There's um, at the time of season three. Right. There is one, two, three, four men right now. Four yeah. last men's on Earth. But still, that being said, they make it fun, kooky, and they really show you each episode having to survive with people that you might even not I mean, like. There's even like whole comic book series is about it. So I feel like it's something that can be done. Like, I mean, the Twilight Zone, how many episodes? But a comedy, on man on a Earth? comedy in a series. Yeah. Have you seen a, um, why the last man on earth? It's a comic book series about a guy who's literally the last man on earth. There's a bunch of women, but he's the last man. It's Y chromosome. And so it's, he's trying to find his girlfriend and he has a monkey. Okay, okay. Well, that's that's a totally different thing. You've got a world full of women. You're, I guess I guess that's true. I'm but talking you're about like your five people left there. Yeah. And they have a joke that uh, it's happened in the last two seasons where somebody ends up getting killed that's a very like A-list celebrity. Like um the second season, the opening of it, uh Will Ferrell was in it. Oh, and really? They, they immediately he dies. And this season, John Hamm was in it, and he mm -hmm. died mm -hmm. immediately. <laughs> like they introduce, oh, that's John Hamm, and he's dying right now. Funny. It, it, yeah, I'm they, very interested. They have in the little show. quirks like that in the show that make it really work well. I mean, and not everything is so morbid on that end, but they do have a lot of morbid stuff, and they balance out something that seems so tragic at the same time being so cute and so funny, and mm -hmm. every disaster is still. Neat. Do you know what network put it out, or Fox. is it just a who? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, Fox. Fox has a lot of funny stuff. Like you remember Wilfred? Uh, Wilfred wasn't Fox. That was FX. Oh, yeah, my bad. Wilfred sent me the season finale of Wilfred, the series finale. Sent me spiraling for like a week long depression because it was so heartbreaking. And it was over. Yeah, that was uh, my big thing. I'm like, oh no. Did you watch the last episode of it? I did. I watched the whole thing. I was upset by the last episode. Because See, and I didn't have cable. I had Netflix. So it was like a season would come out and then I'd watch the whole season in like a day and then I'd wait for a year until the next season came back to Netflix. Yeah, I, I, I've been there before. I think everybody has at some point when they're too cheap to buy something, but they still enjoy it enough to be excited for it to come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially knowing that it's going to end up on something anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I've got that feeling. So tell us a little bit more about the show. Last Man on Earth? Or, yeah, that's the one, I would, that's okay, the one yeah. we're talking about. Yeah. So Will Forte um, starts off as the last man on Earth until he meets the last woman on Earth, Kristen Shaw, which, you know, lovely lady, uh, yeah, plays cute. Louise in Bob's Burgers. Mm -hmm. As time goes on, f she's such a great actress. Not the point. I, you you already know. Oh, yeah. I love her. Um, point made. Um, when she was she was in, in an episode of Wilfred as like a roommate. Oh, my God. You're right. She was. Yeah, and she I was great. I forgot that. And she's so good in everything she does. Mm -hmm. All right, not the point. You guys get it. So um, Last Man on Earth is basically the small group of people that are survivors that are immune to the disease that's killed off the entire world are all together in one mansion in Miami. Originally, it was in Tucson, but season two, they moved it to Miami, Florida. 
Okay. And um, it's kind of the pitfalls of living with people that you don't know that you may not like and how how to deal with some of the bad behavior, how to deal with kind of the strains of being stuck with two men <laughs> and one of them is married and one of them is insane. And you know what I mean? And yeah. It's, it's all of the characters are so dysfunctional in certain parts, at least. Uh, I think we all are dysfunctional. Uh, but, you know, the, the fun thing about the show is the challenge of overcoming the fact that this person does this and we don't really like that, but everyone else is dead, so that's just fine. She's an alcoholic. She's way too much into, you know, macro, you know, crocheting and are just weird crafts and arts. And, you know, he's way too annoying on every level. But it's them kind of getting past and yeah. kind of making a makeshift family. So speaking of annoying, Supernatural is getting another season. <laughs> wow, what season are they on? I don't know, like thirteen. Oh what my season goodness! Are they on, uh, uh, too three? many. I it's <laughs> I, I. That's me guessing. Like, there's just so much of it. Did you like Supernatural, Ravina? I used to watch it when it first came out, and then I fell off. Obviously, I don't know. There's so many seasons. My my girlfriend was like, "You need to check this out. This is my favorite show." And I watched like half an episode, and I'm like, "Oh no, what is this?" What is this? <laughs> I, I it's just understand. a couple of boy toys running around after werewolves. I don't know. What can you tell me? Did you like the show, Jordan? It was a show that I didn't like, but I still watched it, I think. <laughs> How far did you get? Uh, more uh, farther than I care to admit. <laughs> so I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I know that Supernatural has a huge fandom. I think mostly just because those are a couple cute boys. But... No, people can't say it's for the story at this point because it's gotten a little bizarre. From what it's I kind of like if there was, if you could say the original story was this one, like rope, this like rope. Now it's tied together with a shoelace, and then that's tied together with some gum, <laughs> and it's just it's just one thing attached to another. You know to where you really... can't recognize it originally. I think the fandom is the thing I know the most about Supernatural because it's like Doctor Who. Where, like, people are just shipping everybody, right? You know what the term ship is, right? Yeah, they want you to be in a relationship. Yeah, and I know, like, the Supernatural fan base, there are quite a few fans of Supernatural that ship the two brothers. I don't really? know if you knew that. Yeah. No, I, I do knew I, I know that. I used to tumble quite a bit back in my day, and um, that stuff was all over Tumblr. Like, the fan fiction and the fan art and the theories. Fan art theories. Well, it's funny you guys are saying that because when I was looking up on this new series coming out, the producers actually take great pride in not beating the horse dead with their old storyline. They're thinking that they're, they were claiming that, you know, they're organized and they're moving forward in their storylines as opposed to yeah, back. But you know who Tommy Wiseau is, right? The guy who made The Room? Yeah. Tommy Wiseau true. thinks The Room is the best thing ever. Really? And I've never it's, even... Oh, it's the worst movie ever made. It's up there. I I think because it, it's been given the, ti the, the the title of worst movie ever made. I think they might be right. Like I think it might be the worst movie ever made. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no, no. I think it's up there. I, I can think of a lot of others, but I think the fact that it wasn't intentionally the worst movie Ew, ever made. Is even what makes the it. um the cover is bad. Yeah. Yeah. I would have never watch that. That's like but a movie you, you would see in the it's, dollar store. You really store. should watch it. It's so good. You should watch it with like friends and and alcohol. lots of alcohol. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Wow. The room by Tommy Wiseau. Ah, oh, such a classic. Yeah, a classic. Anyway, nice. so I'm sorry if we stepped on your shoes with the uh, supernatural thing. We talked about Bob's Burgers. We talked about Rob and China. And we talked to you guys a little bit about The Last Man on Earth. And it looks like we're about to wrap things up. Where can they find us, Jordan? On the gsmcpodcast.com. Not .net, .com. They can also find us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and Facebook. Facebook.net as yeah. well. You can hit like us, us up on, on Facebook and hit us up on Twitter. Twitter.org, yes. We want to know what you think. Come after us. Fight us. We don't like Supernatural. You do. Tell us what's up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, that's I it. think he means come at me, bro. Because that's the saying. But uh, points to Shay for trying. Thank you. Okay. Whatever. That this ends <laughs> our broadcast day. <laughs> <laughs>